Our project is developing a supercapitating submarine. Uh, as for engineering goals, uh, we have set a minimum distance traveled of 50 uh, meters. And then we're also looking for left-right maneuverability, which, which has not been achieved with supercavitation. And just to explain what supercavitation is, it's the process of enveloping a air bubble around an, a submarine device allowing for higher speeds. And we're looking to establish a fully formed air cavity with minimal turbulence at a speed of around 60 to 80 kilometers per hour. So here's our design. At the front we have a cone shape and then at the very front we have a cavitator which is going to direct our airflow. In the back we have our rocket uh, propulsion area. This also comes to a slight taper to allow for some more hydrodynamic, some better hydrodynamics. And then these spots around here are actually LIDAR, um, like LIDAR sensors. So this is going to help us be able to tell what is actually going on in the air cavity itself. Then this is the interior view, so we have uh, servo engines controlling the uh, maneuverability of the uh, cavitator. And then this is the air tank, it's a, it stores about 800 liters of air and that will allow it to travel uh, 500 to 1000 meters if needed. And then we have the computer housing which will uh, have a computer chip that controls basically all the systems including the cavitator and the engine. And then the engine it is a uh, sort of two-way gimbal, so it allows for at least the left or right steering. So here's our basic procedure. So what we did essentially is we created, we started off with a drawing, and we I translated that onto SolidWorks. Um, and then now all we have to do, it, we, then we send it off to a metal shop, and they prefabricate all the metal. So we just have to assemble it, code the computer chips, launch and then recover and then repeat the process all over again. And then our expected results are about 500 meters traveled if it's uh, optimal uh, design. Uh, left to right maneuverability as I mentioned before and a fully formed air cavity with speeds of over 200 kilometers per hour. So outside support, so we've received various outside support, whether it be monetarily or helping me uh, come up with the engine design for engineering. So we would like to thank Mr. Stevenson and Mr. Harshman of the MASS program for providing us funding. Uh, and then also I'd like to thank Mr. V and Mr. Van Arsdale and Mr. Renner for helping me decide engineering and how to actually get this thing constructed. And the importance of supercavitation, or at least this uh, uh, study, is to determine uh, an optimal method. Of, well, optimizing the technology at this point, it's there's very little practical use for it, and it has military use and some other small applications. Yes, this actually this will also help bridge the gap technologically, as we are currently behind in this new arms race with Russia, China, uh, the UK, South Korea, and North Korea. And then uh, testing and construction still remains to be completed at this point. Uh, and then the main engineering challenges are the uh, oscillation and turbulence associated with the uh, air bubble. And that's particularly true during steering, which is why it hasn't really been achieved. And integrating a LIDAR light light back system may solve this. Yeah, so basically one uh, challenge we've been having with this is that everything we've been doing, we basically have to just do through trial and error. So it's been hard trying to find the right balance between uh, peak optimization versus something that's just functional and easy to reproduce. And then for future research, uh, it would be useful to have a onboard computer capable of faster calculations. So we're still going to have a computer system, but uh, more calculations means more accuracy in this case. And also that will optimize the maneuvering abilities and then developing a better engine type for this specific uh, use would also be good. All right. And then one thing that we learned during this uh, project was that uh, the uh, broad use of LiDAR technology and how that can be applied to supercavitation.